Hello and good morning. Welcome back to our highly informative channel. Today, instead of discussing football and general sports, we will be discussing disease outbreaks, deadly pandemics and epidemics that have ravaged humanity, sometimes changing the course of history. We will start with one of the first recorded epidemic, which took place around 3000 BC, when a northeastern Chinese village was completely wiped out by a deadly epidemic. It completely destroyed the village and it was never inhabited again. The archaeological site is now called Hamin Manga and is one of the best preserved prehistoric sites in northeastern China. One of the first recorded epidemics to take place in Europe was in Athens 430 BC, not long after a war between Athens and Sparta began. It has been a source of debate that what kind of epidemic it was, but the general consensus is it was a thyroid fever. It killed 100,000 people and lasted for five years. One of the main reasons why this epidemic took place was because of the fortifications. The city of Athens was overcrowded and, well, it didn't stop the war. The war continued until 404 BC when Athens was finally forced to surrender to Sparta. Moving ahead, a deadly epidemic took place in Rome in the year 165 to 180 AD. Sporadically, it continued for 15 years, killed 5 million people in the Roman Empire. It weakened the Roman Empire significantly. Many historians believe that the epidemic was first brought into the Roman Empire by soldiers returning home after a war against Parthia, which is a modern northeastern city in Iran. The disease is slightly unknown, but the general consensus is that it was smallpox. This epidemic, after killing 5 million people, significantly weakened the Western Roman Empire. Christianity actually became increasingly popular in the time after the plague occurred. And now we are discussing deadly pandemics. The plague of Justinian, which took place in the year 541 to 542 AD. Well, the Byzantine Empire, which is commonly known as the Eastern Roman Empire, it stretched from, at that time, it stretched from the Middle East to the Western Europe. This bubonic plague killed 10% of the world's population and it marked the start of its decline, Byzantine Empire's decline actually started after this bubonic plague. That's how uh, the world suffered uh, from from first uh, global pandemic. Let's get rolling for two pandemics which devastated the cities of London and Marseille. Are you ready for the biggest and the deadliest pandemic in human history? 1346 to 1353, the Black Death. It, by, by some estimates, it killed almost 100 million people, devastated Europe. 50% of European population was wiped out. The Black Death traveled from Asia to Europe. It was spread by fleas on infected rodents and rats. The plague changed the course of European history. Serfdom and feudalism was replaced by technology, innovation, and passion for studies. The Great Plague of London, 1665 to 1666, killed 100,000 people or reduced London's population by 15%. Londoners were so unlucky that even after this plague, they were not spared. A year later, 1666, the Great Fire of London started. And, you know, it had devastating consequences. The Great Plague of Marseille, 1720 to 1723, also killed almost 100,000 people in the French city of Marseille. By some estimates, 30% of the population of Marseille was perished. And now we are discussing deadly influenza viruses. 1889 to 1890 flu pandemic killed 1 million people. In the modern industrial age, new transport links made it easier for influenza viruses to wreck heaven. 28 years later, the Spanish flu of 1918 to 1920 infected 500 million people. Almost 20 million of them died or perished. It was a 
deadly influenza virus. And we hope and pray that it should never happen again. And let's not ignore the polio epidemic which ravished the New York City area in 1916. 27,000 cases were identified, 6,000 people, they lost their lives. And we cannot ignore the AIDS epidemic and pandemic from which started somewhere in early 1980s. It has claimed almost 35 million lives, by the way. You know, it was started uh, it was transferred from chimpanzees to humans in 1920s and still there is no vaccine for AIDS although there are some treatments which somehow allow people to have regular lives but we cannot ignore this epidemic or pandemic whatever you can call it was deadly and it is still deadly how the history will remember coronavirus honestly we don't know about it at this stage it has killed almost 110,000 people globally and it has infected 1.8 million people worldwide. In terms of statistics, it may not be the most deadly pandemic in human history. We cannot compare it with, with, with the Justinian plague or, or, or the Black Death. However, we must not forget that this is the first pandemic which has taken place at the height of social media and digital era. Yes, we can talk about uh, the swine flu, uh, but again, swine flu didn't happen at the peak of social, uh, social media. We are talking about something, we are talking about an era which is completely dominated by digitization. So yes, this pandemic will be remembered for a very long time and we hope and pray that it shall end soon. And we must also not forget that Spanish flu of 1918 to 1920 it came in three phases or it it, 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 it it went around in three cycles. So this is the first cycle of uh, coronavirus. And I hope that this is the first and the last cycle of coronavirus. How history will remember it, we will see in few years time. Thank you very much.